In the papers today, hospital A&Es are currently overwhelmed by half a million elderly people who are being admitted because of failings in community care. The CQC review in NHS services found that almost 1 in 10 over 75s had been taken to hospital with avoidable conditions, a significant rise of 20% in just five years. It also found that for people with dementia, emergency hospital admissions were 30% higher. In property, the UK population is growing at one of the fastest rates in Europe, while house building is too slow to keep up. Hart have revealed that first-time buyer registrations have risen 74.3% between October 2012 and last month. London saw an 82.9% upswing in the same period, however the supply in limited housing has caused average prices to rise by 6.1% annually. Recruitment news. Despite tubes running throughout the night at weekends, most tube ticket offices will go and over 750 jobs will be lost to save TfL £270 million over the next five years. Ministers have raised concerns as to whether there would be enough staff to respond in emergency situations. More than 4 million Brits have less than £10 left over after paying for household bills and groceries. Research also shows that the average monthly disposable income is £224.50, while one in four has less than £50. This is particularly difficult for people in Wales, with one in six having less than £10 a month after bills. A rise in stamp duty and VAT receipts on the back of increased consumer confidence and a resurgent housing market has helped to put the Chancellor on track to beat his borrowing target this year by up to £15 billion. Official figures show that borrowing fell by £200 million compared with the same last month. House prices are now being built at the fastest pace since 2008. However, despite these positive signs, Spencer Dale, Bank of England's chief economist, believes it's still a number of years before the British economy will return to normal.